So today I want to encourage you to stop using your bathroom scale. Bust it, throw it out, hide it. Seriously, get rid of it, guys, because all it tells you is how much you weigh. That's the only thing it says is how much you weigh. It doesn't know how much muscle you have. It doesn't know how much body fat percent you have. It doesn't know how much water you're carrying. So it is really, really misleading, guys. So what I want you to do is stop using your bathroom scale. The smart thing to do if you're trying to track your weight loss um, is to measure yourself, okay? So you're gonna wanna measure your circumference. You're gonna wanna measure your waist. I like to measure right at the small of my waist. Track it. You're gonna wanna measure one arm and you might need somebody to help you do that. You're gonna wanna measure your hips. I like to do it right at my tailbone and around the biggest part of my hips, right there. And then I take my fingertips to my thighs and wherever my fingertip ends is where I measure around my thigh. So record your measurements. Also, another great thing to do is take pictures. Oh my gosh, no, don't take pictures, Kelly. I'm not taking pictures of me in a bathing suit. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, a picture says it all. The scale could say that you're 120 pounds, right? Say that you lose five pounds of fat and you gain five pounds of muscle. Body composition transformation, yes, that's the goal. But what does the scale say? It says you still say you stayed the same. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna throw in the towel, you're gonna get aggravated, you're gonna say, forget it, this doesn't work. And then you're gonna lose all that progress you made of gaining five pounds of muscle and losing five pounds fat. That's a big deal, but you're just not seeing it. So take pictures so you can put them side by side. We all use the smartphone apps, the pic collage. Put them side by side, do a front, do a side, do a back. Just get your camera front, side, back, right in front of the mirror. They're just for you, nobody needs to see it, okay? Again, the bathroom scale does not give us a deeper look inside. Luckily, fortunately enough, at Temple Fitness, we have the Sika body composition scanner. This machine is medical grade, it is amazing. It tells us our body fat percent, our lean muscle mass, our BMR, our BMI, our total um, energy expenditure, and then it calculates everything it tells you such cellular health how our phase angle is our adipose tissue how much visceral fat we have in liters um, how much water we have it's amazing so come by and see us and get a scan or search somewhere in your area if you don't live in a tennessee area search somewhere in the area for a medical body composition scan or a bod pod so you can get a true reading and then just always visit that same machine and every you know maybe six weeks but if you don't um, have the privilege to be able to do that, then measure yourself and take pictures, guys. That's where it's at. Your waist should be getting smaller. Your, your arms will start to get a little smaller. Um, if your thighs around your quads and your hamstrings seem to be a little bit bigger, that's a good thing. That means you're putting on muscle. Your booty will lift, your quads might get a little bigger, your hamstrings might get a little bigger, but you'll lose around the hips and you'll lose around the waist, you'll lose a little bit in here. Um, your lats might start to spread, which is gonna give you that V, which is awesome. The bigger that V is, the smaller our waist appears, so we get that hourglass figure. So anyways, I'm harping, and what I'm harping on is get rid of that scale. It's misleading, it frustrates you, and it's not worth it. All right. I'll see you next time, guys.